So now let's talk about how we can quickly evaluate the different results that we've pulled using Library OneSearch to search across our different databases and our library catalog. So the first thing that you can do is you begin to look at the uh, resources that have, that have been pulled up from this search is examine things like the title, um, where they were published, whether it was in a journal or whether it's in a book, uh, and then also keywords or key phrases that might pop out to help you determine how you can focus your search or maybe exclude specific items from your search. So for instance, if I look at this very first result here, I can read through the title and see that screen time pops up and they're talking about Hispanic toddlers. So that's a specific um, group of children, a specific population of children whose development I might want to consider. I also have a number of authors here and you'll see their names are hyperlinked, meaning I could click on them and I could see what other articles, for instance, for instance, Elisa M. Fisher wrote, or what other works she has published that we have access to. I also see that what kind of a material it is. So here it's telling me this is a journal article. So depending on what your instructor has asked you to find the kind of information that you might need for your assignment, this may be very important for you to look at. And I have a link here to the full text online. So clicking either on this link here or on the title will take me directly to the article so I can read the article in its full text but maybe I'm not quite ready to commit to this article yet. I don't want to take the time to read it before I find out some more information at least. So by clicking on this preview link, you'll see it gives me more information about the article. So I have what's called the abstract of the article. So the authors have written a brief summary of the article, which is a really good way for me to tell if this is something that I want to read more about or um, whether this helps me to kind of identify a more focused topic area within my big research topic. It also tells me where it was published, the title, the volume and the issue number, which are important for your citations later on for your paper, the page numbers, but then it gives me subject headings. And you'll see all of these subject terms, which really get to what the article is really about, um, are clickable as well. They're hyperlinked as well. So I could click on communication as a subject term, for instance, and I could find other articles about communication. Now it will wipe out my other search terms, my screen time, child development, and impact. So I'll get a lot of articles on communication, but these may also be terms that you could use to focus or expand your search. Um, so you'll see here, if I look at the title, I can see this article is about screen time with Hispanic toddlers. But if I scroll through some of my other articles, you'll see this next one, just for instance, is about home environment relations with physical activity, sedentary time, and screen time by socioeconomic status. So here I have um, a study that looks at the impact on language development, whereas this looks more at physical development or physical activity. This article, again, looks at Hispanic toddlers, whereas this focuses more on socioeconomic status. So by looking at these two different results and the different information they present on my broad topic, I could begin to think about what I'm really interested in. Now, once I decide that I find a resource or resources that I want to save and go back to, I can use this folder icon with the plus sign to save an item to a temporary folder. You'll see it pops up in this folder here. And then I can go back and see these are the different results that I have so I can collect my results as I search. Now note, if you move away from this page, your search results will disappear. They don't save um, permanently. So once you have items that you are looking to then um, save for a longer term or refer back to later, you can print those or email those to yourself.